Datch from keycommerce.com here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to segment your products in your Google Shopping campaign. Doing this improves your targeting and greatly helps with your future optimization. Let's go. Log into your Google Ads account and navigate to the shopping campaign that you want to work on. You should see all products shown as a product group. It contains everything in your feed. You need to mouse over the name of the group and click the plus sign that appears. On hover, you'll see that it says add subdivision. On click, a new page appears where you can sort through the products based on the select information Google has from your feed. From the dropdown, you'll see different attributes including brand, item ID, category, product type, condition, channel, channel exclusivity, and custom labels. You can create up to five custom labels, such as seasonal or bestseller. In this example, I'm gonna subdivide my products by a particular brand. And as you can see, when I choose brand from the dropdown, all available options appear here. From there, click continue to edit bids. Then click save, and you will have a new product group subdivided. You will now see the product group view, where there will now be two product groups visible. One that says all remaining products, and the one we just created, segmented by the specific brand. If you want to make the segments more granular using different attributes such as color for example, you can repeat the process. Make sure to save. You know your products better than anyone else and that's why Google gives you the option to segment your products. You can choose to segment them according to the aspects that you feel are important such as best sellers, category, profit margins, color, size, and much more. If you're trying to optimize your shopping campaigns to make more money, then check out our free Google Shopping course. You'll learn everything you need to optimize and scale your shopping campaigns all for free. I'll leave a link down below. And if you found this video useful, hit a thumbs up and leave a comment.